told you're a national champion. 11 years old and you're a national champion. Yeah, that's right. Some young football players aiming for the top have reached it, and a lot of thanks goes to you. WMR2 News, Janae Wright caught up with the two championship teams tonight after their recent wins, and I bet you they're still flying high, Janae. Oh, yeah, they're definitely on cloud nine. The Woodlawn Secret Society Panthers from Baltimore County and the Old Town Gators from Baltimore City are wearing new jewelry tonight. National championship rings, the best in the country. But it's not, that's not the only thing that they're celebrating. The Woodlawn Secret Society Panthers took three teams down to Florida. The nine and 10 year old teams both placed third in the nation, while the eight year old team brought home the national title. We feel good. We just won our national championship. Yeah. We feeling like we the one. This is a community celebration. The team was able to go thanks to donations from parents, coaches, and by fundraising. I want to say thank you for bottom water send all their help that we could get you if they send it a dollar so this still helped us. Coach Howard says he is proud of the work his team put in on and off the field to make this happen. So we overcame a lot of things and I feel like our ultimate goal was to win the national championship and we're here. This championship team is also the first in Baltimore to have a girl who plays offensive tackle. She says if she can do it, any girl can. It's always okay to be to be afraid of something but Believe in yourself. The Panthers are not the only team in Baltimore bringing home a national title from Florida. The Old Town Gators from Baltimore City also won its first ever national championship title. The funding part is the hard part about the funding. You know, this once you win the championship, um, it, most teams in Baltimore is very hard in a short period of time to get that money to go. The Gators were also able to go to Florida thanks to donations from the community. Okay. Amari Patterson says the experience was a lot of fun and he's happy to be bringing home the win. He says the best part for him is... I get to represent my state and my city. I'm the Baltimore, Maryland. Coach Henson says having the team get this win for the first time ever was huge for the organization, which has been in Baltimore City since 1977. So I was really happy to see the smiles and the joys on that face. Uh, I feel like I won, you know, like I was playing a game, you know, it's, it's just, it's been a long time. Kenneth Hill, the team captain and All-American player, says this win has him fired up for next season. It feels good because last year we went and we lost, but I'm just proud of my team and my coaches. And the coaches from both teams say the biggest takeaway other than the win and the bragging rights for the year is knowing that their organizations are doing something positive for young boys and girls in Baltimore.